All right, guys, welcome back to another edition, another episode here in Ijikai African Martial Arts Instructors, right? So we're teaching you guys how to become instructors and really how to, how to fight in general, right? And how to do African Martial Arts, okay? Whether you want to be an instructor or not, okay? We hope that you will. We hope that you'll pass this on, okay? Because I don't want this to just stay with you, okay? If you learn something, pass it on. Share it, right? Each one, teach one. That's how we grow. That's how we stay united as people of African descent, okay? is by sharing with one another and that cohesion, that community, right? That's who we are as a people, okay? So, um, again, I always like to start every lesson with that, okay? So previously, guys, we've been working on footwork, we've been working on connecting to the earth and to the ground and how to generate power, how to push, okay? And in Egypt, Kali, African martial arts, right, in terms of techniques, okay? Our techniques, I'm talking to you guys either about math or science. For the most part, every single technique that we do, okay? I don't care what it is, okay? That's what separates our techniques. That's what separates us from a lot of the other martial arts that are out there, okay? So the next principle we're gonna cover, previously we talked about pushing, right? Pushing from the ground and how to generate power from the ground, okay? As opposed to lifting your foot up, stepping, or as opposed to turning, okay? This next concept we're gonna talk about is sweeping, okay? So sweeping is a way to also move your feet. However, you're not going to push right? And you're not lifting your foot up and setting it down. Sweeping is essentially, you're going to slide your foot along the ground, okay? It's not going to be, you're not going to drag it, okay? We're not dragging our foot, but imagine a broom, right? Like you're sweeping, right? <laughs> the sweeping action, right? Sweeping, sweeping, okay? That's what we're going to do with our feet, okay? Now you can sweep one foot, okay? Or you can sweep both feet, okay? Typically we're sweeping both feet, but sometimes you may just want to sweep one foot. So let me show you some examples of how we use this, okay? Um, just a basic footwork, okay? So I'm gonna use this sweeping footwork to go forward. So I'm gonna sweep the back leg, okay? And this leg comes forward. And I'm gonna sweep also going back, okay? Now notice this breaks the rules, right? In terms of our footwork. Previously, I told you when you're stepping, when you're taking your half steps, always move the closest foot. So when I wanna go to my right, <laughs> right foot first, then left. Going to left, left foot, then right. Going forward, front, then, then back. Going back, back, then front, right? We know this, okay? However, with the sweeping footwork, okay, I'm actually moving the opposite leg first, okay? So if I wanna go forward, I'm gonna move my back leg first, right? It's gonna sweep, okay? And then I can certainly move my front leg, which typically you would, right? I'm gonna move my front leg to come up, okay? And if I wanna go back, I'm gonna move my front leg first, then back, okay? Now there's some different applications to this, okay? So notice this is different than stepping. I'm not doing a step and step, right? I'm not doing a one, two, right? Why? Because that's too slow, okay? <laughs> Sometimes I need to get the heck out of the way fast, right? You don't have time to just step and step, okay? The other thing that I'm not doing is I'm not pushing away, right? So this is not pushing, right? So I'm close to this guy, I don't wanna just, ugh, push myself away to create space. Why is that? I'm gonna get tired, right? <laughs> you know how many people in the beginning, they start pushing, uh, 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 and then by the end of the round, they're just like dead, right? They're exhausted, they're just so tired, okay? So I don't want you guys to burn yourself out because when you're pushing, you're using a very small muscle in your calf, right? To move your entire body weight, okay? So keep that in mind, okay? So I'm not using pushing energy. I'm not using muscular force here, okay? I'm just sweeping my leg back. The uh, function of this, purpose of this, is certainly to get out of the way quickly if you need to against an opponent, right? I wanna move out of the way quickly here, okay? And come back forward, okay? But the other purpose of that is if someone's attacking your leg, right? Whether they're kicking your leg, whatever it is they're doing, if you move your back foot first, guess what? This leg's still here. He's grabbing it, he's trying to take you down, single leg takedown, or he's kicking you, leg kicks, right? So I wanna move this foot out of the way as soon as possible. So I'm gonna sweep this back, then I'm gonna sweep my other foot back, okay? So that's that sweeping action, right? Now, like I mentioned, you can also do this just as one foot, okay? I don't have to move both, okay? So for example, if he's attacking my front leg, I might just sweep this leg back and then come back forward, okay? Now, I don't wanna leave my foot on one foot too long, right? We used to always talk about that, okay? I wanna stay rooted, connected to the earth, right? So. I can certainly move this back and come forward. Typically when I do this, I wanna to try to keep my weight forward, however. In other words, I don't wanna take myself backwards, okay? I wanna stay close enough where I can, I can hit him if I need to, right? I wanna stay close enough where I can hit him and come back and counter, okay? Anytime you're shifting your body weight from, your, from one leg back to the other leg or back to neutral, it's gonna take you time, okay? And so sometimes you don't have that kind of time in terms of fighting, right? So that's an example of where you're just moving one foot at a time, okay? Now, this, this sweeping action, you can do it a couple different ways, right? 
Typically when I'm doing this, I'm doing something called foot replacement, right? What that means is one foot's gonna replace the other. So for example, if I'm moving backwards, I'm gonna take my right foot, that's gonna go where my left foot is, okay? My rear foot, okay? So it's gonna be a one, two, right? Essentially my right foot came to where my left foot was, okay? That's what happened, right? Same thing when I come forward, okay? However, I can do this short or I can do it long. So for example, I don't have to bring my front foot back to my uh, uh, rear foot, okay? I can just do short. That's still a sweeping action, right? So sweeping forward, sweeping back, but I'm not going that far, okay? Or I can take my right foot and place it way back behind my left, right? And sweep way back here, okay? So you can sweep as close or as far as you need to, okay? A lot of times I'm using this footwork, especially when I'm circling an opponent, right? And I need to move quickly, right? And I'm kind of coming in a circle. It almost becomes like skipping, right? I'm just sliding, okay? Sliding, sliding like this, right? So sweeping, 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 right? So one leg sweeping, the other leg's gonna sweep back here, okay? So you can use this circling. Absolutely, right? Because it's quick. It's a fast way to move in circle, okay? If you need to get out of the way quickly. And when we're talking about footwork and after martial arts, it's very important, okay? So we talked about distances. You can go short, you can go far, you can do foot replacement. You can also circle with this, okay? Now that's all defensive, okay? The offensive application to this, typically we're using this for any kind of kick you wanna do from your front leg. So for example, okay? If I wanna kick from my front leg, is my opponent here, in order to do that, I gotta put my weight on my back leg, right? I can't have my weight even and try to kick from here, okay? Cause I, you know, you, you're just not gonna be able to, right? Cause you're, you're on one foot, okay? So naturally all your weight has to be on your back, your back leg, okay? If you're kicking from your front leg, right? So whether you're doing a straight kick, right? Whether you're doing a curve line kick, right? No matter what kind of kick you're doing, right? Your weight has to be on your back leg here, okay? But I'm too far away now, right? If I shift my weight to my back leg, notice I'm moving backwards, okay? And I can't reach my opponent, okay? So in order to compensate for that, instead of moving back and kicking stationary here, okay? I'm gonna slide, I'm gonna do a sweep step, right? I'm gonna sweep up, okay? And now I can reach my target here, okay? Now I can reach him, okay? No matter what kick I wanna do, okay? Again, I can make this short and reach him, okay? Or I can make this close, right? And reach him as well, okay? So that's the, the, the um, uh, concept behind using this for offense is to slide up and sweep, okay? Now understand, again, two types of lines, right? So I can do this sweeping action on a straight line, okay? Or I'm going directly forward with you guys, or I can curve line, right? So I can take this foot and circle with it, right? It's a little bit harder, okay guys? A little bit harder, but it comes a curved line. So my back foot, again, gonna move first, but instead of going directly straight, I'm taking my back foot and it's curving behind, okay? Now I never wanna stop here, okay? I never want this to be a one, two. You should feel like your feet are chasing one another, okay? So, excuse me, as soon as this foot starts, this foot's gonna go, okay? It's not gonna be a one, two, right? Or a Mojan Bili, okay? It's gonna be boom, boom, right? Boom, boom, right? Boom, boom. As soon as this foot goes, this foot's gonna go. As soon as this one's off the ground, boom, it's chasing the other one, okay? So I never wanna end up here, right? It's never like this, right? This is just stepping now, okay? I'm not sweeping anymore, okay? So when I'm going on a curve line, right? Again, this foot's gonna circle behind my front foot and I'm curving this way, okay? You can do the same thing going to your, your rear hand side, okay? Whether it's your left side or your right side if you're orthodox, okay? But same thing here, now I'm gonna, it's gonna push me back a little bit, but I'm still curving, okay? Still curving, same concept, we talk about pushing. Whether I'm pushing, right? That's gonna send me back um, a little bit away, right? But also towards my rear side, okay? So. When I'm, going, when I'm going on a curved line towards my front hand, that brings me closer, okay? And on the curved line, and on the angle, talking about angles. When I'm doing a curved line to my rear hand side, this will send me a little bit further away, right? Whether I'm pushing or whether I'm doing that sweeping action, okay? Keep in mind, sweeping is your opposite foot's gonna move first. Going forward, your back foot moves first. Your furthest way foot moves first. Going back, it's the um, front foot move first, right? Now, same thing applies when you're going side to side, okay? So if I'm going to my right, my left foot's gonna move first, <laughs> then, my, uh, then my right, okay? Going to my uh, left, okay? Right foot first, then left, okay? So you can do side to side with this too, right? It's the same thing, I'm sweeping, okay? It's direct lateral movement here, lateral movement, okay? And then work this into your Jenga, right? Work this into your Jenga, okay? Where you're working this here, okay? And then you turn, right? And then your Jenga, right? Then you're sweeping forward, okay? All right, work this into your jing, okay? Last point on this, guys, is both feet don't have to go in the same direction uh, at all, okay? So we're gonna cover this in a little bit more detail later, but I just wanna introduce this topic to you, okay? 
When I'm doing a sweep step right now, so far, we're going the same direction, right? I'm going straight back, straight forward, or I'm going to my left, okay? Going to my right, okay? This kind of thing, right? However, when I sweep step, for example, okay? I can sweep this leg back and bring it back forward, like I mentioned, okay? I can only sweep, I can sweep step one foot, or I can sweep step with two feet, go same direction, okay? Or I can sweep step with one foot, and the other foot's gonna go in a totally different direction, right? <laughs> okay, now how's that to, to you know, expand your mind there, okay? So, um, think about a compass, right? We use this concept in African martial arts in each kati called a sealy, okay? Being, uh, we use this compass uh, principle, okay? A sealy is based on a compass, okay? You got north, east, west, south, all the different directions of the compass, and you got the angles, right? Northwest, uh, northeast, southwest, southeast, okay? So, I'm doing the same thing, I'm using a compass here, okay? So, if uh, back, maybe my south, right? Forward is north, Back is south. So I can take my front foot and go south, okay? Left is gonna be west for me. I can take my rear foot and go west, okay? So what does that look like in application, right? I can go south then west, okay? That's a sweep step, right? Southwest, okay? See that? And now I got a, a target right here, southwest, okay? I can go um, south and northwest, okay? Boom, where it keeps me a little bit closer to him now, right? Boom, right here, okay? Same thing, sweep and goes forward, okay? This is a south, northwest, okay? I have south and west. I also have, guess what? South and uh, southwest, right? Where I'm here. Now I move back, but instead of going back on a straight line, okay? I move back and cut an angle, okay? Now I'm at an angle to my opponent, right? So you have all these different directions, okay? You can certainly go towards your rear side as well. So you can go, you can go back here and then move towards your east, right? And that typically is gonna pivot you. It's typically gonna turn you, right? Or you, yeah, so that's gonna turn you, right? So there's so many ways to move, okay? Use your imagination. All different ways you can move your feet, okay? So think about that and explore that, okay? But that's sweeping step. We don't wanna just stay in a box that can only move one way, okay? You have eight main directions, okay, in terms of a compass, right? We also have up and down, right? You know, uh, in terms of that three-dimensional way of movement, okay? So that's how we're using our sweeping step. Um, long lesson, okay? But I want you guys to work that, blend that into your Jenga, okay? And get that flowing, right? Get that flowing, boom, sweep step, sweep step, right? I can go south, okay? This is a south, and this direction is southwest, and then I'm gonna move this one to uh, northwest, right? Going this direction, right? Boom, boom, okay? Boom, boom, and then go back the other way, okay? So you can work this, right? Work this, okay? Then adding your push into it, okay? So there's so many ways that you can work this in with your Jenga, turning, pivoting. Right, so it starts to get a little bit harder. It's a lot different than what you may have done before, okay? But footwork is so, so important what we do. Please train this. It may take you a while to get it, but I want you to develop that proficiency. Uh, it may take months, but please develop that proficiency. It's very important to understand how to move, how to control distance, and how to generate power from the ground.